Hi, I'm very happy to present you Song Mode 2, which brings the power of Song Mode to session and arrangement views. Since Live 10 113, the installation has become very simple. In your user library, create a folder named Remote Scripts, copy the script folder into it, launch Live and select the script corresponding to your controller. Now all you need to do is press the user or custom mode button on your device. When entering song mode, the controller will show the scenes of your session view. Each pad represents a scene and takes its color. This is called the simple layout. You can trigger or select the scenes from the controller. The selected scene will be blinking and the playing scene will be blinking green. You can change the color of a scene directly from the controller by holding shift and pressing a scene pad. Song mode can also show arrangement markers. To switch to arrangement view, press the note button on your push. On launchpad, this will be the top button on the right hand side. In this view, each pad corresponds to an arrangement marker. As soon as you add markers, they will be detected and added to the pad's matrix. You can add markers on the fly from the controller by pressing the new button. You can also add colors to the markers by holding shift and selecting a pad. This way, you can see your whole arrangement at a glance. Pressing the marker pads will start playback or jump to the marker's song position. The marker at the left of the song position will be blinking green. A very powerful feature is that you can set a loop between markers by holding two or more pads. The markers inside the loop will be blinking yellow. You can set the loop on and off by pressing the double loop button on your push. On the launch pads, this is the yellow button. The core of song mode is the advanced layout. This feature lets you group synths or markers into virtual songs. This way, you can have your whole set at your fingertips without scrolling. All you need to do for that is to add song and the number of the song between brackets to the name of the scene or marker. You can also do that from the controller itself by holding the new button and pressing a song pad. Doing this will split the matrix in two halves. The top half will let you select the songs and the bottom half will display the scenes or markers that belong to this song. The selected songs pad will be blinking and the playing song will be blinking green along with its scene. At any moment, you can switch back to simple layout by pressing the layout button or by pressing shift plus toggle view button on the launch pad. There are several additional features that you can find pretty handy. If your set contains more than 32 songs or a song contains more than 32 scenes, the navigation arrows will allow you to move through the pages. If you add stop between brackets to a marker's name, passing it will stop live's playback. Such pads will be blinking red. This can be very convenient when using the arrangement view in a live situation. The Stop All Clips button will stop all session clips and pressing it while holding Shift will enable Back to Arrangement. Pressing the User or Custom button will take you back to your standard controller. Thus, Song Mode lets you make an even better use of your device without taking anything out. You can get Song Mode on the Isotonic website. Thanks for watching.